It's about a week ago, Bianca had this flat tire that taught me a very sobering lesson about my life. I didn't want to change this thing, so I was already frustrated before I started. And I waited till the last minute to do it because it was cold, it was windy, it was always after work. So I was tired and I was hungry. Definitely not in the mood to change a tire, but I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe make a video about it. That's what I was hoping would happen. So I had this plan, this expectation, this hope and this idea about a certain circumstance. And lo and behold, things weren't going according to plan. And I realized that the sobering lesson about my life was I'm a bit of a control freak. Now that might be a little like, like dramatic to say, and I, I say it in a dramatic way just to like drive a point home. I kind of did lose my composure. I just gave up and I was discouraged. So check this out and you can see what I'm talking about. Is there something on my windshield? Yeah, I have something in my car. Where? Right here. Why is this a parking violation? How? Yes, it does have a valid parking permit. Oh. Vehicle. It's not abandoned. Do you get my keys? Yeah. I didn't abandon them. A couple days ago, Bianca had a flat tire. We got the tires filled up. But then when we brought it back to our apartment, you know, with all the tires all A-OK, -okay, the tire on the other side got flat too. And now she has a parking violation because we weren't able to change it till today. That's insane. I am so angry. I had to explain to somebody that we couldn't change it and we had to get it fixed with work and blah, 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 blah. And if this tire doesn't come out right now, I will, we're moving. That's what we're gonna do, we'll move because I refuse to stand for this. This is too high for it to get underneath the spot it needs to get into. What does it have to get? Is it even getting lower? I don't know. This is so stupid. Here, can you just turn off the camera? I know, not my best moment. But you know what I mean? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but you could definitely see that point where I was just ready to give up. I was like, stop recording, stop the video. I don't want to continue doing this. I just wanna quit. I'm someone who isn't really worried about things not going according to plan when it's not my plan. But when it's my plan, that's when it matters to me. Cause it's actually in grasping for control where I lost control. I need to make a distinction with the things that I have control over and the things I don't have control over. And the things I don't have control over, I need to learn how to let that go. I need to learn to recognize that this, this thing I don't have control over is something I don't have control over and that's okay. But what I do have control over is how I respond to the thing I don't have control over. And that's really tough. Because what goes on in here often feels like it's out of control. And, and, and that's something I really wrestle with. There's always going to be an aspect of our day or of our life that's going to be out of our control. And I find that we actually have the freedom and the choice to choose how that's gonna affect us. Getting anxious over it isn't going to make it better faster. I've learned that the hard way so many times. And I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying, I wanna invite you guys to join me on that journey to, to be better about this. So with that, have a great day. See you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Peace.